Hey everybody, Trinfinite X here, back with some more Final Fantasy VII, hundred-ish percent, or rather, the last of it. So, uh, I've done a bit of leveling since, uh, since the fight with Hojo, just a little. Okay, yeah, I've done a lot. Hey, Frizz! Hey, how's it going? Time Tree. Welcome. Time to finally wrap up this game. We have a couple more small odds and ends to wrap up. Some quote-unquote boring stuff. And then it will be time for the big super bosses. How's it going, guys? I should probably... Uh, Time Tree! You saw me playing it in the, ca in the past few days. Were you not there on the stream on Saturday? That was two days ago. Uh, I was farming it a bunch yesterday. I haven't got I haven't gotten any further, but I farmed up a bunch of materials so I could get a lot further. You spent all day modeling a shoe for a game you're working at. Wow. A shoe. Interesting. So, what you so you're a graphic artist? A frizz? Doing some 3D modeling? Or does that kappa mean that you weren't doing it at all? <laughs> ah, okay. Hey, that sounds cool. modding for a shoe. Uh, yeah, no. Modeling a shoe and modding for a shoe are two different things. <laughs> um, okay, so I should probably put on my enemy skill materia. So we are looking for a particular enemy. Today, the one of the odds and ends we need to wrap up is enemy skill. I have my two enemy skills here that I want to complete for 100%. We're missing three enemy skills. One of which is easy. Uh, the other is really obscure. And the one we're looking for now is going to be a bit finicky to acquire. To say the least. We're looking for an enemy called Moo. It's a little groundhog squirrel thing. And it has an enemy called Level 4 Suicide. And we can't manipulate it either. That's the worst part. In fact, in just a minute, I'm about to double check to make sure that I'm on the right course here, that I am in the right place for it, right? I'm pretty sure I am. But first we have to find it, then we cannot manipulate it, unfortunately, so we literally have to wait until, yeah, grasslands area, yeah, until it, we literally have to wait until it shows up. And then wait until it actually uses the move. So this could take a minute. And this is probably the most boring thing we have left to do. After this, everything picks up and it's way more exciting. So for those of you not watching the stream and watching the YouTube video after this finally goes up, 
by all means, skip ahead a bit. The exciting stuff is still to come. Um... So are you working for, uh, like an, like an indie developer? Or do you work for, <laughs> do you work for Nintendo, a eh, Frizz? Like, who do you, like, who are you making models for? Do you work for a larger company or just a smaller one? Or, or are you doing it on your own? Uh, someday we'll find it. Small indie thing? Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. I don't have any enemy. I don't have any materia equipped on Barrett. So he's doing like no damage. But it's actually fine that way. I very specifically want to make sure I do not accidentally kill the enemy I am looking for here. Oh wow, really? Huh, okay. Man, these things are really fast if they're still getting us. So, where is that one enemy I'm looking for? Okay, I think I might have an idea. If we don't find one here in a second, I think I know a better place to look for one. Come on. And just to be sure, I might even use the sense materia. I wonder why the enemy's not appearing. I remember seeing it here too. That's so strange. Huh. Gotta love it when the game does not cooperate. So you ju are you just uh, in high school? Learning how to do uh, graphic design, eh, Frizz? Ah. If we don't find one here in a second, I'm gonna grab the greens I need and go. Oh my gosh, why? Why can I not find the one enemy that I actually want to see? Hmm. Okay. Well, game doesn't want to be cooperative, so I'm gonna buy some greens that we're going to need for the more obscure skill in just a minute. Just to make sure we have them. Yeah, some Mimit Greens. We'll go ahead and buy like eight of them. I don't need, I'm pretty sure I don't even need eight of them. We'll just grab that real quick. Oh, you learned every, you've learned everything on your own, huh? You sound very dedicated. All right. I mean, when you say you're not an adult yet and you can't work at big studios, I assume that means you're, you know, still in your teens. In which case, good on you, man. Learning a skill like this early. Like, that's really the only way to make it as an artist. You have to start early, work hard, and make connections in the art world as early as possible if you want to work in that industry. Because otherwise, yeah, like you... Nobody will take notice of you whatsoever. Oh, good. Started when you were nine. That's good. That's pretty early. You know, I remember when I was nine, actually, there was an old 3D modeling program that I worked with and played around with for fun. I made some short little clips. 
it was fun times, but I never really, it took a lot of time and I, I never really uh, got that deep into it. Okay, see, here's the enemy I wanted right here. So now, now we have to wait until this thing eventually decides to use the skill. At least I'm pretty sure this is the right enemy. You know what? These things are pretty common actually over here. I wanna double check to make sure it is. But I don't have sense, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this and equip it. This is this is the worst right here. This is an a, again, it's a it's an enemy skill on an enemy we cannot manipulate. So hands down, this is the worst. I want to make absolutely sure here. I could just put on sense, or I could put on master command. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sense is sense. We don't actually need to use sense 90% of the time, but... Anyway, yeah, it's good for you to start early and get really good at the graphic design process and then uh, try to form connections as early as possible and you know in whatever company you want to work for get as much experience as you can go to college get a degree and then have experience a degree and connections all three of those things are very important Oh, really? Oh, you get paid to go to college in Sweden, huh? Okay. Boy, that sounds cool. Just to double check, this is the enemy I actually want, right? <laughs> Texture glitch there. Trick play. Uh, that's not quite the enemy I was looking for, but I think that enemy will suffice. Pretty sure. Pardon me just a second, guys. The game likes to just stop. When I do this, but I need to make sure I'm not wasting my time here. I'm pretty sure this enemy will teach me. Yeah, trick play does have it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Two and twenty third two and twenty three chance of using level four suicide on target. Okay. So we could be here for a minute. Is basically how this is going to go. I certainly hope level four suicide hits everyone. Oh, look, there it is. Perfect. Now we can just kill them. Excellent. Wow. The hardest part was finding the enemy, but we got it. Yeah, time to move over to Sweden when you go to college. <laughs> that does sound like a pretty good deal, eh, Frizz? I'm not gonna lie. Why do they why do they do to, do that in Sweden? Do you know? Or is that just how it always works? Is there not enough people? Like, do you guys need more people in your uh, industries or I'm just wondering why it's different. Like why 
Like, is that government sponsored? Is that sponsored by the government or by the colleges? I don't know how it works over there. Uh, well, that's good, Time Tree. I'm glad you've gotten far. Oh, you're still collecting the treasure chests? Yeah. It's part of 100%. Ah, okay. I guess that sounds reasonable. Uh, but again, who's paying for that? Like... Ah, state-sponsored thing. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have level four suicide. Thank goodness. That was honestly the one I was worried the most about. Now, now that we have it, now comes a bit of a more obscure one. This one's a little trickier to actually acquire. This one's called Choco Buckle. See, there's only two stars left. Yeah, I know. Uh, level 4 Suicide basically targets... It does 31, 31 out of 30... Uh, how do I say this? 31 30 seconds of a person's health if they're at a level 4. So it's a level targeting move. So Barrett's at level 96, that's a multiple of level, f of level 4. 96 is a multiple of 4, so he takes 31, 31, 30 seconds of his health in damage if level 4 suicide hits him. Um, there is a skill called level 5 death that we're going to be learning, so if you're a multiple of level 5, you just die. Uh, but that we can manipulate for, so that's an easy one. But the one we're after now is Chocobuckle. And it's a little weird. Pardon me for constantly, you know, cutting in and out of the game, but, like, this is sort of necessary. Because some of... Because especially for Chocobuckle, this is really, really weird to get. Like, very. So, realistically, in order to acquire this skill, we basically have to have level 4 Suicide. We basically have to have it. Um, there's a very specific set of things that we have to do. Um, let me get everything set up here. Ripped Dub, hey! How's it going? Welcome to Final Fantasy VII, 100%. The last of it. Let's see, we need to not use cover. This is the end of Final Fantasy VII. I'm collecting the last of the enemy skills. I need two more enemy skills to have completed these two enemy skill materials. And then once we do that, once we do that, the exciting stuff happens. Once we finish enemy skills. We actually get to do a bunch of cool stuff, including fight some super bosses eventually. Um, I've done lots of grinding and farming. It's going to be fun after we get these. Uh, let's see. So I think we're good, actually. We have sense. We have the en enemy skill materials. Is that all we need for this? Oh, no. Chocobo lure. I'm an idiot. That's what we needed. Okay. Chocobo lure. Now. This one's really obscure because Chocobuckle is only used by a wild Chocobo 
if a very specific amount of their health has been taken away. And that specific amount just so happens to be the amount... Uh-oh. Is it leaving already? Yeah, it's already left. Crap, we have to use it right away. It just so happens to be 31, 30 seconds of their health. So realistically, level four suicide is the only way to acquire this skill. Like I said, this is a really odd and obscure skill that's hard to get. This could take a minute. Huh. <sighs> so first we have to grab, yeah, first we have to get a chocobo. If the game will be so kind. I wonder if enemy lure will do something. So all game, I've been complaining that this game does not have an like a way an enemy lure and a, or an enemy repel, but actually it does. It's just that by the time you get them, it's way too late for it to be useful. Where are the greens that I just purchased? Please, game. Here we go. Jeez, why are they down here? I need to, okay. I clearly need to organize my stuff. Level 13. Oh no, ah, it's the wrong level. It has to be a level 16. Crap. Caught a chocobo, but we're letting it go. Turn it loose. Get out of here. Why would I ride that when I have my gold chocobo? Ugh. Okay. This, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Having to go through here to find my greens that I purchased. And if we don't feed it the greens right away, then it'll run away. Why is it level 13? We're supposed to be able to find level 16s around here. Any multiple of four. Yeah, just run. We specifically need a multiple of level four for this to work. Either, either that or it's going to be really, really tight on how much damage we have to deal. Is this one actually gonna be harder? Harder than the one we just did? Where are all these level 16 ones that they claim spawn around here? Gotta love it when like the wiki and all, your, all the guides tell you something spawns in a certain area and it just never does. It's really fun, isn't it? Please just be... Why? Why is it 13? It's like, don't worry, Chocobo, we're running away too. I might have to try different locations game doesn't cooperate. <sighs> of course you would do this when I'm streaming, wouldn't you? All right, well. Um... Yeah, I do like that they added the ability to remove hidden seals, Time Tree. Definitely.
Wow, you can do all that, eh, Frizz? You really are dedicated. Sorry, I'm just now looking back through my comments here. I've been focused on why this isn't working the way it's supposed to. So that should be a... No, it's level 13 again. Okay, that's kind of irritating. Why is it a level 13? Well, fine. Let's try a different spot then. Where, el where else can we find chocobos that are of level four? Ah. Oh, oh, I see, okay. All right, well, maybe that will help then. Well, apparently the level 16 chocobo is a bit rare. So actually, I was apparently looking for a much rarer, rarer encounter than I needed to be looking for. So, we'll look over here instead for the level 36 chocobo that's apparently much more common, so says the game. And before I do anything else, just arrange our items a bit. Supposedly, this should be level 36. We've only got a few more attempts at this rate. We're off to go buy some more. Please tell me you're level 36. Yes! A multiple of four. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'll... Oh! No, I didn't want to catch it. Ah! Okay. <sighs> but at least we know it's fairly common then. Turn it loose. Okay. So next time, let's see if we can just use, ah, uh, well, we have to kill this thing first. Let's see if I can just use the skill and get it to happen. Hopefully it will finally just happen here. These two are the weirdest and most difficult ones to get. The last one should be super easy, and once we get it, we're off to the gold saucer to finish the last things we need to do there. So, Afriz, you work on designing games. Do you play any, though? What games do you play? It's been a while, I may have already asked you this. But I honestly don't remember, it's been a while, man. So where's my chocobos? Why am I getting normal battles? Where are Chocobo? <sighs> Still normal battles. Where are the Chocobos all of a sudden? Man, this game. It gives me one, I made a mistake. And now it will not give me another one. Why does this game hate me so when it comes to RNG? Ugh. 
Ah, finally, here we go. Oh, look, and it would be a really good one, too. In theory. Absolutely sure. Yep. I'll even give it some more greens just to be really sure. We are going to get this. Level four suicide. On everybody. There we go, get him. And then it should use Chocobuckle on us. Yep, there it is. Perfect. We got it. Miss, oh. Okay, but we still got the enemy skill. That's what really matters. Kill these two and get out of here. Oh my goodness. That was so weird. A lot of Clash of Clans recently, huh? Clash of Clans. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't actually remember. Don't actually remember what that is. Yes, just one enemy skill to go. And it's probably, and it's really easy to obtain. It should be the easiest one that we're after. I've heard, I've heard that name before. Ah, it's a mobile game. Ah, that's why. I don't really play a lot of mobile games, so that that explains it. It's like, I know I've heard that name before. I just don't remember where it's from. Thank you, Duck Game. Okay, last enemy skill. The last enemy skill that we have to learn is actually here in the Northern Crater. I missed it. But it should be pretty easy to get because we can manipulate to get it. We have to manipulate a parasite enemy and get it to use level five death, which of course will miss us, but that's okay. Don't really want to get hit by level 5 death anyway. The question is, how deep in am I going to have to go to get it? I don't think I'm going to have to go too far. Well, I mean, I know I won't have to go too far, but... Yeah, not these guys. Uh... Okay. I'll look it up sometime. It's just that the, the only thing is, even if it's really good, I probably won't play it because I won't be able to really stream it. So that's going to be a kind of a major factor in that. How come it gets to go twice before I get to go? Ugh, still do not understand this game's speed system, like how the turns work in this game. Just don't make sense sometimes. Yeah, streaming mobile games is kind of hard. Like, it can be done, but... It's annoying.
right. So down here somewhere, we should run into the parasite enemy. Pick up, play for 10 minutes, wait for 10 hours, then play it again. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that sounds about right for most mobile games. Mobile games tend to be that way, where they're very... Just, they just sort of play themselves. That's actually very common. Zachary streamed mobile version of Among Us. Well, okay, good for Zachary for having that setup, man. Don't you just love it when you're streaming a game and the game just refuses to cooperate with you? Even if what you're looking for is extremely common? Ah, here we go. There we go. Finally. And now, manipulate. Got him. All right. Level five, death. It won't work on any of us because none of us are a multiple of level five. But we'll get the enemy skill. And then we'll take him out. Perfect. So with that, we have all the enemy skills on two of our enemy skill materials. So I have... Here, I'll go ahead and take them off. Um... Well, and arrange. I have all four copies of enemy skill, but I only mastered two of them. Honestly, because that's all that's really necessary. The uh, Mastering the other two just isn't needed. I, I honestly don't even know if I'll need these two anymore. Like, enemy skill is incredibly good all the way up until the very end of the game, but now that we are at the very end, really don't need most of these skills. Like, some of them are okay, but we kind of have better things, actually. Which you will see on display in just a bit. So now the actual fun starts, now that we've, uh, now that we've done that. Got rid of all that. Now we need to go to the gold saucer and, t and wrap up some loose ends over there. Again, I did lots and lots of stuff uh, off stream already so that uh, you guys wouldn't have to go through all that. Or see me go through all that rather because it was very dull. really just a lot of grinding. Oh my gosh. Enough with the battles. You know what? Actually, let me put one of those things on display right now. I have the perfect thing to do here. Assuming, of course, the game will ever finally let us get away. Here we go. You have so many rupees, but what level are your characters? Uh, so class... Uh, you have a village upgrade to get better defenses and stronger troops to raid people with. Yeah, that sounds pretty typical. Um, there are lots of games like that. Time Tree, I spent, like, every single one of my characters is max level even if I don't use them. Spend your rupees. There's so much to spend it on. Um... Enemy lure and enemy away. 
So those are two materias that you can only get in the gold saucer at later points in the game. And I've been complaining pretty much all game how how uh, the game doesn't have any repels or anything. And it turns out the game does. All right, Afriz, you have a good night, man. Thank you so much for coming. I know it's probably late over in Sweden, right? It's probably pretty late at night, maybe early morning by now. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a good time. You should check out the VOD for this later and watch the super bosses. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good time. But yeah, anyway, I've been complaining all game that this game doesn't have any repels, but it actually does. It has enemy away materia, but you can only get it late game in the gold saucer. So, and yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. It's kind of obnoxious to obtain. I wish they never expired, Time Tree. Because then I wouldn't have to upload anything to YouTube. Why is why is Tifa depressed? Uh, because she got hit by Paratail from those enemies. That's okay. We can fix that. Here. Just give her some drugs, and she's all good. <laughs> I'm not crazy, BB man. I just did lots and lots of grinding. So I could have good setups for the super bosses. Although, yes, I have seen the videos. It is possible to defeat the super bosses at, like, level 7. If you really want to see crazy, trust me. Go to YouTube and Google some of the... and Or Google on YouTube. Uh, go to YouTube and look up some of the crazy videos of people beating Emerald and Ruby Weapon at, like, super low levels. It's pretty insane, the tricks they use. However... No, I was... Time Tree, I was just trying to f trying to farm attack speed plus plus to build better weapons and ended up getting a bunch of rupees as, as a uh, side bonus. I, it's not that I was deliberately farming for rupees, it, it's that I just ended up getting them. As a matter of course. Um, but yeah, so specifically, I'm going to do the super bosses. There's a ton of ways. There's tons of ways to abuse glitches like W item glitch in order to beat the super bosses. It's very easy to do that. However, specifically, I would like to show off how to beat the super bosses without using any glitches including w item a very common way to beat the super bosses is with uh hero drinks and you just clone a bunch of hero drinks and then you know once you've got four hero drinks on each character the super bosses are a joke like they literally deal almost no damage uh, and then you can swing for a bunch and kill them easily, but that's again. That's a glitch, right? And I'll admit I don't really have too many problems with using glitches normally, but as it turns out you can beat the super bosses within reason Without it. You don't really need to use uh, Glitches to win Especially not if you're high enough level even though I'm probably over leveled still Oh, did you get the uh, Quadra Magic without a Chocobo? Did you do that glitch? It is possible to get Quadra Magic without the Chocobo by landing in a very, very precise spot with the High Wind. Um, but for me, that glitch wouldn't have done any good because uh, I was going for 100% anyway. So... Before we go in, actually, yeah, hold on. Before we go in, we need to save.
That's thing number one. Yeah, yeah, but you know, again, I could probably have done this with honestly level 80 or even just level 70. I probably could have done what I'm about to show you guys somewhere around there. Um, no, maybe not level 70, maybe level 80. Um, it's possible. It's just really tough. Uh, so I'm higher level because I wanted to grind a bunch more and make it relatively s easy and straightforward. Um, but again, not going to use any glitches, though. If I wanted to use glitches, I could win at, like, 50. I could win re at a really low level if I wanted to win... Um, if I wanted to beat the super bosses with glitches, because then I would just stack up hero drinks. Um, and that would just solve all my problems. So... Or, honestly, I could win at level 1 if I had Kate Sith, if I mastered the, uh... The glitch with his, uh, insta-kill. With his slots. If you, like, there's the Kate Sith slot glitch where you can instantly kill anything. Except Ruby. Uh, you have to wait on Ruby. You have to do some planning to get around him. But, um... Yeah, you can use Kate Sith's Limit Break to instantly kill any enemy, including the super bosses. There's tons of glitches to exploit, but we're not gonna we're not going to exploit any of them. Um, we're going to first go and actually put on Omni Slash. So I farmed in the battle arena off stream. Because you guys like I've already demo I've already shown off the battle arena once in this playthrough way back when we had to get the uh, the key uh, The key to the the temple of the ancients So that's already been shown off and you're about to see it again here because we have to do this special battle But basically I farmed until I had W summon and Omni slash So now cloud finally has Omni slash His best limit. You may notice that Barrett's on limit level 3. There's a specific reason for that. Uh, it's because Anger Max can actually get us potentially more damage than Catastrophe if we have enough AP on his, on his uh, missing score weapon because it hits more times. Anger Max does. So... That might actually be better than his level 4. Tifa, of course, is at level 4. But now that we have Cloud with Omni Slash and Ultima Weapon, there's actually a special battle that we can do. Ah, save. Oh, and while I'm at it, I might as well finally... Should I do sources now? Yeah, you know what? Let's do sources now. So, I'll go ahead and put on the sources now. So, I have not used a single source. I've collected all the power sources, guard sources, and magic sources, all the different sources across the world map, because I have all the items. That was part of 100% is collecting all the items on the world map and on all the different maps in the game. But I've collected all these sources and I have not used a single one. I have not used any of them. So this is what you should have, naturally, uh, without using Conformer to farm sources, which is something we'll go over in a bit, but... Basically, this is how I'm going to deploy them. Blue Wool, hey! Welcome! We're playing Final Fantasy VII today. Going over the last little bits of 100%. For luck, I've already, I've already looked at everyone's stats and decided how I'm going to use my sources. So that's how I'm going to use my luck. Uh, speed is pretty much... I'm going to give one to Cloud and the rest to Barret. 
Uh, things do get a little bit tricky with the other ones. I believe guard source is all to Tifa, pretty much. Right? Because Barrett has... Yeah, good vitality. Oh, wow, actually, they both have decent vitality. Really? Oh, oh, I know why. It's the level up. The level up must have changed it. That's okay. They still need some. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Tifa's a couple levels ahead of Barrett. Yeah, Barrett should have more defense than that. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the guard sources primarily to Tifa. Because her defense definitely needs to be up there. Uh, for magic... How you been, Blue Wool? What you been up to? Duck Game, I assume by now you've completely finished all the DLC. What do you think of the battle-tested Guardian? Just stuff, Blue Wool? Okay, fair enough. Uh, magic. Yeah, Cloud has tons of magic. And Barrett is two levels behind, but actually has pretty decent magic. Looks like Tifa needs most of it. Tifa's two levels ahead. Yeah. Two, three, four, and we'll give some to Barrett. Cloud has plenty. Uh, kinda lame. Eggbot. Wow. Oh, that's kinda sad. Is it at least cool looking? <laughs> Is it at least fun to play? So Mind Source and Power Source are the only ones left. Again, keeping in mind that Barrett is two levels under. Tifa, yeah, he still needs a ton of it. Yeah, he's gonna need help. Man, Tifa has so much luck. Barrett needs more strength. Tifa has a ton already. Okay. So, that should settle how I'm going to use that. We'll give Tifa a little bit of power. But I'll give a lot of it to Barrett as well. Something like that, maybe. Then mostly to Barrett. And some to Tifa. There we go. Now let's make sure we're topped off. Save the game. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, it looked really cool, right? Cool looking, yeah. Is it actually just as big as a Guardian? Is it really that huge? Oh, yeah. What if we took, yeah, it's just took Terrico and made him as, yeah, it's as big as the Great Fairy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. What do you guys think of the different, uh... Master Cycles. 
I found, you know, when I was testing the Master Cycle, it actually doesn't seem like it's that great. I think I would rather have Awakened Zelda's Bow of Light. Uh, with attack speed, mind you. Then again, there is a third bike I haven't gotten yet. But still, I feel like Zelda's actually better without the bike. Master Cycle seemed a little uh, uh, a little awkward to use sometimes. Okay, so we have all the enemy skills. Bike over slate? Yes. That's true. Bike over slate, for sure. Slate is still super awkward. Alright. Third bike is definitely good. Okay. Well, I'll have a look at I'll have a look at it when we get there. Yeah, and yeah, I've had Zelda in her default outfit for a while. Uh, anyway, so now that we've distributed our sources and saved, now we can talk about the setup we're going to use for the battle arena. So obviously it's not going to involve enemy away. Remove all, turn and arrange. So, for the battle arena, I'm expecting it could be quite a challenge, but I do have some tools to help us out here. So I've got plenty of double cut materia for everyone. So I've got double cut. We're definitely going to want a W item as well. Another thing, ooh, you know what? Ooh, I just had a thought. Yeah, her default outfit is not the gown. Time tree, I think you've got the default outfit confused with the gown. That's not the same. Not the same thing. Um, mime could be useful to mime our limit break. That's true. That's true. Depending on how it goes, it could happen that way. W item. Mime. I'm just trying to think the best way, you know, the best way to obliterate everything. Now, of course, there, yeah, I mean, of course, BB Man brings up a good point. What happens if I lose it? What happens if I accidentally lose this? I could do the cover counterattack route. I could go, I could go for the pure counterattack route. I have so many counterattacks that I farmed up. as opposed to the summon route that I was going to do. You know what, let's try that. Let's try that. That might actually be just fine. I still want double cut. I still want W item. Uh, I still kind of want mine, but we don't really necessarily need this. Let's do, yeah. Long range. And full counter attack. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. Okay. Let's find out if this will slay all of the enemies in special battle. This guy, his positioning is terrible. So once we have Omni Slash and W Summon and Ultima Weapon, Cloud is allowed to enter a special battle only for him. And it will let us obtain the final materia in the game once we beat it. We can, cha we can challenge it over and over. 
Oh look, there's the guy who sells GP. Amazing. What random chance luck. We get the very last materia in the game that we need access to. So every other materia in the game I either have in my inventory or I have access to in that I could buy it somewhere. Also, this lady right here, if you talk to her before you do any battles in the battle arena and then talk to her after, she gives you some sprint shoes. I went ahead and collected those already. Uh, we're not going to use the sprint shoes, but they start you in haste if you would like. Obviously, I'm going to keep my ribbon on because ribbon protecting from status effects is huge in the battle arena. You know, I've been thinking about it for a while now, but you must be pretty strong. Probably strong enough to take on the top one or two fighters. Maybe you'll be good enough for the big match. How about it? There's a private battle only for the strongest. Want to try? Let's do it. You can fight up to eight battles, but the more battles you fight, the greater your handicap, and the stronger the monsters will become. So, all right, I'll show them. This, this will be probably the most challenging run of the battle arena. However, we're a pretty buffed cloud. A really buffed cloud, to say the least. Oh no, we lost the magic material we are not carrying. We hit extremely hard and extremely fast due to being uh, level 98. We're using a Zydrich, which halves all our damage taken. We're using Ultima Weapon, which is basically always going to hit max damage. We attack four times. Oh yeah, and if we get attacked, we get four free attacks because of counterattack. Assuming it's a physical attack. So yeah, we're pretty strong. Oh no, we lost a bunch of MP that we're not even going to use. Poison Fang. I think that'll trigger our counterattack. Oh. Nope, because it missed. So far, we've had two misses. Uh-oh, half HP. Well, that's not good. So, Battle Arena, we can still lose, though, just to be clear. Also, I put Long Range on Cloud, but... F f oh, wait, no. Long Range is good for counterattack. Yeah, I was about to say, we still need that for counterattack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, it happened. It happened, BB Man. But we're still not out of it. Because that guy just attacked us. So now we get four counterattacks. Man, this game really hates our materia. Look at this. I swear these slots are rigged. Well, I think we might have lost this one. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to pull out of this one. I'm going to pull out of this one because it broke all our materia. Yeah, the slots are very rigged. Let's try that again. Maybe without our luck going really badly. It's possible. We could have. Yeah, try special battle. We could have still won. But it would have been really, really, really tough. So I would like to... Uh, Maybe get a shot where they don't instantly take out my materia. Well, instantly. I made it through four rounds, so we're half we were halfway there. Let's see if we can get better slots this time. The slots are not always the same. 
Oh, look. Oh, no. Is this going where I think it is? Like, look at this. If you want rigged slots, how about a slot that literally has only one thing on it? Like this. This is... Okay. Now we're talking rigged here. But... Even with that... We can still win this. The thing that got me last time was the all materia break. Oh my gosh, and weapon break. Come on. Yeah, this could take a f this could take a while. You know what? Yeah, this is yeah, this is messed up. We have tons of GP in reserve. I'm just going to keep retrying until we get slots that aren't terrible. Battle Arena is very very rigged. This is why I definitely yeah, this is why I did not show you guys all the grinding I get did to get uh, w Summon and Omni Slash because it's really horrible. That's annoying, to say the least. That's not good. However, it's not the worst. We might still be able to do things. Maybe. There we go. There is a way out of this. Even half HP. Actually, that brought our HP back up to full. But yeah, without that poison defense, it's going to be rough. Now, let me see here. I think there's a way I can get out of this with a thing called Vaccine. Level down. Oh, no. But this is probably the best opportunity to use it here. I'm going to use W item. We're going to use an antidote. Use an antidote on ourselves. And, uh-oh. That's right, counterattack. Uh-oh. That counted as a physical attack, though? Huh. Zero MP. We weren't using any anyway. Oh, it's gonna give us a physical attack, though. Oh my gosh, I might never get a chance to use an item at this rate. My counterattack's not letting me do what I want. The broken ribbon is a problem, but it's not too huge. The main issue is that I can't use W item because counterattack is actually going off and killing things and restarting the battle. I'm going to laugh if I win this anyway. This is going to be pretty crazy. I was about to say... I'm never getting a chance to take any damage from poison, but I'm trying to heal it off, so I'm like, I don't even know what to think now. Uh-oh. Okay, that is a real problem, though. Because here's Proud Claude. Yeah, we cannot be mini for this. We're gonna do this, and antidote. Yeah, because I'll never kill it with one damage a pop. Now the question is, will I ever get a chance to move? Like, on my own. <sighs> there we go, finally. Cloud actually got to move. 
W item, pretty good. And we're not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and use an elixir here to just heal up everything. Maybe. And apparently counterattack's just gonna win me the battle, eventually here. And then I was going to use like a vaccine to prevent me to prevent myself from being status, but at this rate, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need it. Let's just uh, use an S mine or something. Yeah, do that. Since apparently that's all I really need. Now I'm doing max damage again. Proud Claude is a boss we've already fought. Thankfully he doesn't do any status. As far as I know, Proud Claude will not status us, so the lack of a ribbon is not as concerning anymore. We might actually win with this setup, I can't believe it. It's such a cheesy setup, and we might actually win anyway. That's crazy. Yep, we got it! Cloud just that broken. Final attack! Excellent. So, with that, we now have the final materia in the game. Uh, some people consider 100% to mean that you have to own at least one copy of every materia in the game, and you have to master all of those copies. I do not think that that really needs to count for 100%. For me, 100% is just owning a copy of every materia or having access to it. So at this, at this stage, with final attack in hand, I now either have or have easy access to, through a store, any and every materia in the game. And I do have several materia mastered, specifically the ones that I think are actually useful. Final attack is probably the only materia that I think is really, really good that I don't have mastered because, well, I just acquired it. So, final attack, uh, automatically uses paired materia when disabled. Uh, this description is bad. Final attack literally uses the attack when you, when you get knocked out. So, if Cloud were to hit zero HP, he would use whatever materia is paired with final attack. So, for instance, a common thing to do is final attack Phoenix. So, if Cloud dies, he goes final attack Phoenix before he, before he goes down and revives the other two team members. Um, or, of course, you could set that up on anybody. But final attack is definitely a really good materia. Because it basically prevents you from dying as many times as you have use of it. Which is five, if you only have one copy of it. Yeah, it's really good. It's the only really good materia that I don't have mastered. Everything else that I think is good, I have at least one mastered copy of. Even sneak attack. Um, added effect. There's lots of good stuff, for sure. I have plenty of alls. Another thing that some people consider for uh, consider to be necessary for 100% is to is to max out your gill is to have maximum gill. I disagree. I don't feel like that's really necessary. Um, also, some people say you have to have level 99 with all your characters. Again, as long as you have one of your characters at level 99, I think that's good enough. There's a lot of good enough here that I am interpreting from my version of 100%. Because literally everything else, like getting max gill, that would just be a grind. Or I could guess I could sell all my all materias, I guess. But it's yeah. 
it, it's just, it would just be a grind to level everybody up, to get all the gill. It would just be a ton of grinding. Max or mastering every single materia and getting the, um... Yeah, it's, it's a huge grind just to, ma to just to get it. And before you say, because I'm sure there's lots of people going to be say, going to be saying, ah, but wait a minute. If you're not going to max out all your materia, you don't actually have access to all the materia because uh, you won't be able to get, um, like you have master command, right? Like I have master command, but you won't be able to get magic or uh, master magic and master summon if you don't do it. That is incorrect. Because if we beat Ruby and Emerald, the Calm Traveler will give us at least one copy of each. So we will have them. How's it going, Aurora? How's your Monday going? Welcome to the stream. We just wrapped up the special battle. Now, there is one thing I'm going to go ahead and mention right now. Right here is the chocobo bedding. There is one thing I do not have. Just one. There is an, there is an accessory. There is an accessory that you can only get here in the um, chocobo bedding arena. So, it's random if the item appears, and it's random if you get it, based on who wins. It's really terrible. It's the Choco Belt, I believe? Here, hold on a second. What, what is it? Let's see the, um... Oh, racing... Whoops. Should probably spell Chocobo correctly. That might help. Uh oh. Whoops. Ah, oh, come on. It's gonna be. It's gonna be nasty to me. Hold on here. SOPs are. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine having to write those would be pretty dry and dull. Here it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Come on. Yeah, Chocobo Square. There we go. So what's the name of it again? The item? Ah, yeah, the Choco. The Choco Bracelet. You can only get it from with S-Class races. Here, let me go ahead and explain this. So, we can bet on Chocobo races. We have to pay 200 gil. So, we can only we can only bet on races equivalent to the rank of our chocobo. So I actually did have to do some chocobo racing uh, in order to rank up my gold chocobo to S class so that I could even bet on S class races. The the choco bracelet or whatever only appears in S class. It's a random chance if it appears. Like, see? These are the items that we could get. A Swift Bolt, a Cat's Bell, and an Ether. These are the only things that we can get. So the item didn't appear this time. But it's a random chance if it appears. It's really low random chance because I have not been able to get it after dozens and dozens of races. It's a great accessory but it's not going to replace my ribbon anyway. It's the only thing I'm missing. But here, let me show you how this silly thing works. The items you might get are random, 
and your chances of getting them are random. The strategy is basically this. Each of the riders has different colors. You see how some of them are in like this bronze outfit, Some are, this one's in a gold one. Pay no attention to the color of the chocobo. Only look at the color of the racers. If they're in bronze, there's a very low chance that they'll win, so don't pick them. So, what is it? Number three, five, and six. And basically what we're selecting here is which ones we think will come in first or second. Now, of course, they don't tell you about the whole don't pick the bronze one or pick ones with higher speed over stamina. They don't tell you all that. I had to find that out on my own. You gotta go, Blue Wool? Hey, thanks for coming, man. I hope you've had a good time. Will I see you on Friday for some more Let's Go Eevee? So three, five, and six. So here, here's, the, here's how we do this. So three and five could be first and second. Uh, five and six could be first and second, and three and six. So any combination of those are the ones we're allowed to select. Either way, you have a nice night, Blue Wool. Oh gosh, I hope not. Good luck with that. You have a good night, Blue Wool. Um, we'll see. We'll see, Time Tree. Kind of depends on how today goes. Um, so this is how you bet. You can choose three, three things, and you always want to choose a combination of the of the three you think are going to win. In this case, it's pretty easy because there are three bronze ones, so we just don't select them. Then we press start to start the race, and we have to sit here and watch this happen. They're going pretty fast, so this will be over quick, but again, the prizes you get are pretty good, but the only item I don't have is the, cho is the Choco Bracelet, and it has never even appeared for me. It's never even appeared for me. So it's a random chance if you can even get the item, and then you have to actually win the bet. And remember, there's three different prizes. You might win the bet and get the wrong one. So five and six won. So that's one that we selected. Hey look, we got an ether. But notice the swift bolt was the other two. Three five and three six were the swift bolts. So there was literally no possibility of us winning the cat bell in this particular betting scenario. So imagine an extremely rare item. The Choco Bracelet appears on the list. Even if you select correctly which ones will win, and even if you successfully win, you might not even get the one you want. There's a one in three chance you might not even get it, even if you win. So this is random chance on top of random chance because you don't know if you're going to win and on top of random chance of you even getting the prize you want if you win. And that's after the random chance of it appearing. So that's three, yeah, that's three different sets of random chance to get this one item. So this is 100% minus that one item. I'll probably use a save file. I'll probably use my save file editor to put it in later. But I will admit, I was not able to get this item legitimately. I've not even been able to get it to appear legitimately. Um, I don't know why, but according to the wiki, it only appears in S class. Uh, so I, but I've never even seen it. So, yeah, I really don't know why it won't even appear. But if you want, to, yeah, if you want to grind for this item to get it legit, by all means knock yourself out you probably will knock yourself out um i'll take the item i guess why not it's an ether um but anyway you can get some good prizes from here like i've gotten a dozen 
uh, mega elixirs from here and other things. Like, there's some really good prizes. Yeah, there's lots of, uh, lots of good stuff here. Yeah, mega elixirs. You can get mega elixirs. I did get a lot of mega elixirs from this. Yeah. So, anyway, that's how that works. I'm not going to spend 30 hours trying to get a single accessory that I'm not even going to use even if it would be nice to have that for 100%. The main thing is, we came here and we got the final attack materia that we were trying to get. Uh, you can also race yourself to get the item. Uh, no. As far as I know, it's only from betting. That particular item can only be gotten from betting, as far as I know. According to the wiki, anyway. So it is super duper random whether or not you can get that. That is pretty insane. So yeah. By my definition of 100%, uh, we don't have to get max gill. We don't have to max level on every character, just one. Cloud is pretty close, so by the time we finish with the super bosses, he will be. Um, you don't have to master every enemy skill materia, or every materia for that matter. You just have to have a copy of it, for my definition of 100%, or at least have access to it through a store, and not random chance. So... This is close enough to 100%. It is, my, my stream is labeled 100-ish percent. 100-ish percent. So this is, yeah, this is close enough to 100% to where I would call it such. Even though this is probably not true 100%, that would take far too much grinding. As you can see in my menu here, I've already been at it for 68 hours. So, yeah. I feel like I've, you know, worked hard enough at this point. I think we're good. So now here comes the tricky part. Now, I believe it's finally time for the super bosses. Discount Green Kyogre and Discount Groudon. That's basically what we have to deal with here. So, Emerald and Ruby Weapon are coming up. These are not fights I'm looking forward to. These are very tricky, even if you get the setup just right. But by leveling up to this point, it should be easier. Again, I'm not going to use any glitches, okay? I could I could win very easily with glitches. Just W item, some hero drinks, and I'm good to go. But without glitches, it can be kind of tricky. Uh, however, we're going to go to a break now. We're going to go to break, and when I come back, we are going to set up for the super bosses, because we have 100% otherwise. The only things left to do in the game now are to, set, are to beat the super bosses, and then go down into the crater and beat Sephiroth one last time, and it will finally, finally be over. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, 
If you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you. 